Well, students across our viewing area are adjusting to new bus routes these days. At the Jubilee Public School District, students will be doing that in a new fleet of buses. WTVS Daniela Orpeza joins us this morning. She's speaking with the School District's Director of Transportation. Daniela. Good morning, Bronson. I'm coming to you live from inside one of the newest buses here at the Tupelo Public School District, and it feels so good. That AC is going to be great for students. And like you said, joining me this morning is Director of Transportation, Gary Enos, who is starting his fourth year in the top spot. And I know you start your days early anyways, but thank you for joining us this morning. Thank you. Glad to have be here. How are you feeling going into this new school year? Feeling pretty good. We're uh bus is all ready to roll and anxious to get the kids to school. And you know, you let us come into this new bus. It feels great, especially when it gets hot in the afternoon. How many new school buses can students expect? We've got 11 this year, but over the last two years, we've got 25 plus. So all of our fleet now have air conditioning. That is awesome. And this is the first year for all air conditioning, right? Yes, ma'am. One thing that we talked about in our newscast this week is a shortage of school bus drivers across the country. Is this impacting Tupelo at all? What are your needs? Right now our needs are, we need some sub drivers. When a regular driver calls in sick or has an emergency, our uh, substitute pool is, pool is uh, very low. So we'd like to get our substitute pool up a little bit higher. And for anyone who may be interested in another job or just making some extra money, what do they need to do to be a sub? Well, first you got to have your uh, Class B uh, commercial license with P and S endorsements. And you'll come here to the shop and we'll make a copy of your license and train you a little bit and get tested and then convert that permit into a regular uh, CDL license. Okay. And... Another thing that I want to remind folks who are watching this morning, slow it down, especially as everyone gets used to a new schedule and traffic picks up across the area. Can you remind everyone about the outdoor cameras on school buses? Yes, all our buses here in Tupelo, in the Tupelo City limits, are has a stop arm camera. That camera is going nonstop, but when the red flashing light is blinking, of course, that means to stop, and if a car does not stop, that camera will get the person driving and also the car tag. Then we send that car ta uh, tag information to the city police here in Tupelo, and then they proceed from there. And how successful has that been since you implemented it? It's been pretty successful. I've At first, it was uh, we had a bunch of cars running stop, uh, stop arms. I think it's the main thing is they were just distracted. And I just want to remind uh, vehicles in the city, yellow flashing light means the bus is, that's going to indicate that the bus is about to stop. Red flashing light with a stop arm off, children are about to get on or off the bus and we would please advise to stop, that's state law. And students should know there are cameras inside. Yes ma'am, but there's three cameras inside here, but uh, that's just for protection and Hopefully we'll all sit down and have a good ride to school. Well, thank you again for joining us so early this morning. Thank you a lot. Next, we are going to Lawhorn Elementary, and that is at the top of our 6 o'clock newscast. And I'll be introducing you to their newest principal. You don't want to miss it. Live in Tupelo, Daniela Oropesa, WTVA 9 News.